Hi, I'm Keith Tucker at Just Projectors. Today, this is the second video on our YouTube channel, and we're going to look at the BenQ TH681 Plus, which is a 3200 lumen full HD projector. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the main features of the TH681 Plus. Uh, if we start off with the brightness, uh, it's nice and high at 3200 lumens, so in rooms with a lot of lighting, it's still going to hold its own. Um, you can have the lights on, which is obviously convenient for meetings, maybe even a, a church hall or village hall, which is naturally quite light, still going to get a nice clear picture, so that's really, really good. Um, obviously the 1080p Full HD resolution is really, really good as well. It's going to be a really, really crisp picture, but importantly as well, it's going to be really compatible with modern laptops and PCs, MacBooks and things like that. You want to really try and match the resolution of the projector with the resolution of the source device. That's going to give you the best compatibility. So it's really, really important to have that HD resolution if you are using new and modern laptop devices. We have a quick look at connectivity on the back. Here on the right hand side we have two VGA inputs. These will be used to connect to some older PCs but still quite widely used. We have HDMI here further towards the left as well. That I'd say would be the most commonly used one with this projector. And then also amongst others we have some audio in and outputs here as well. Which leads quite nicely onto the fact that this TH681 Plus actually has a 10 watt built in speaker. That's one of the things we really like about it. So if you are doing a presentation in a small or medium sized room which has audio, the 10 watt speaker will be plenty to aid your presentation without actually the need for additional speakers. Really, really good feature for us. If we move on to the lens now, the throw ratio is relatively short, it's 1.15 to 1.5. So if you are using it in some smaller rooms, it's not going to have to go too far away from the screen to still get you a decent size image. Obviously you do have full control of that zoom on the top here, again same as most of the other projectors, zoom and then when you're in the right place with the zoom, just set the focus as well just to sharpen up the picture. When you are setting it up in a, a meeting room or a classroom, something like that, the other thing you might have to consider is the keystone correction. Now this only has vertical keystone correction, it's really really easily adjusted, there's two buttons on the top here does your vertical keystone correction, so that will just get your image nice and square to the screen or even projecting onto the wall. So if we have a chat about as well what sort of things this can be used for, obviously presentations like we've covered already, it can cope with being connected up to a DVD player as well if you did want to show even a movie for something like a, a group or society, scout group or a youth centre, something like that put a film through it, it's going to cope really, really well with that without breaking the budget. If you did want to cross over and use this at home as well, then for occasional use it will cope really well with connecting up to maybe a skybox or a laptop for streaming movies, things like that, or even a games console, because the contrast ratio is reasonable as well at 12,000 to 1, so it's going to give you a nice picture. Okay, now we're going to have a look at a couple of connectivity options for the projector. We're going to take a HDMI into the back of a Blu-ray DVD player and then also the VGA into the laptop. So we'll start with the HDMI. Nice and easy. Now you could actually connect both up at the same time if you wanted to. Or you can obviously do it one at a time. Nice and easy. And then you can either use the source button on the top to change between the two or the source button on the remote control. Here's an example of an Excel spreadsheet. You see here a table of figures there, which will show you really, really good detail, small data, you still see really, really clearly. Also here we have some full HD pictures, just to reiterate the, the good HD quality from the projector. Nice, clear and crisp picture with good colours. Another photo here is of the PowerPoint presentation slide. Again, text is really, really clear. If you're showing video clips, photos, or text or data within the PowerPoint, you're going to get a really, really clear image. Here are a couple of photos of the HDMI and VGA cables connected to the back of the projector. You'll see that it has two VGAs, so if it is installed, there are multiple sources connected at once, that will just swap the cables over. 
So thanks for watching guys. You can visit our website at projectors.co.uk which obviously has this projector and all the other projectors and screens that we sell as well. Or feel free to pick up the phone and give us a call. We're happy to offer good advice on which projection screen is best for you.